Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, I mean, I have my back because I have yours. We have the dragonfly. It says, lighthearted, adapt, finding out and change. Things come into light and heal. We have the sword and the rose. This came out of my last read. And at the bottom of the deck, uh, the twin flame card was also in the last read as well. This is clarity, truth, revelations, honor, protection, and determination. This is backstabbing here, heartbreak, pain, separation, and loss, deception, and lies, shocking attacks. And then we have the golden mirror, narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, and one-sided energies. So you were dealing with some type of energies right now they have the soul connection at the bottom of the deck partnership soul contract and a life partner um it looks like you were dealing with a situation of dealing with a person who you felt like was your soulmate but however they became or what you saw in the beginning wasn't that now you understand what a real narcissist is and what one-sided relationships are so you're asking yourself is this a soulmate or is this a partnership or a soul contract or even a life contract that I can revisit at some point finances were involved and there was snake type energy not what it looks like so uh yeah again like I said you're realizing soulmate again at the bottom of the underneath the bottom of the deck you're realizing that this was a snakeish type energy and you are having to look at things in a different light so maybe you're looking at it from because soulmate is underneath so we have soulmate and twin flame underneath the bottom of the deck. So soulmates and snake, not what it looks like. It's here. It has to do with finances. This could be a situation to where it was kind of like a money grab, what you can do for a person and what you expected, your, what you saw as potential to be a soulmate actually is not what it seemed to be. We have soulmate. We have twin flames under there. You wanted this to be everlasting, but it was um, polar opposites of what you believe that it could be. So, uh, you know, when it comes to certain situations, narcissistic energies, love bombing, this person, place, thing, or situation had you feeling like something when all they cared about was money. Um, yeah, all they, yeah, and they were very cold. Um, all they cared about was money, and they're very cold. This was in my last read. It was unsure, but you have to make a choice. And this was also in my last read. You just see me shuffle. Um, but you have to make a choice. Do you go with the flow? Do you keep playing these games? Last time in my last read, it was seven years. And I think, what did I name it? I think I named it uh, communicating open and honest with yourself is basically what I named it. But yeah, this energy was cold when you realize that it wasn't what it seemed. Um, maybe it took you a time to make a decision to, or to understand that you have more options than what you know, the situation led to be, but in my last read again, it was seven, uh, the seven of pentacles showed his face. Yeah. Recalling. Yeah. Memories. So you're looking at things. I'm going to pull one more card. Um, yeah, you're looking at things in regards to whether you should allow a person to return. Yeah. Justice here. Recalling just, and then assignments, procedures, and values. Yeah. You're changing up the way you do things. Recar reincarnation is reflection cycles and faith the ebb and flows of light upright justice uh justice faith and trust the consequences of your actions so again if you go to my last read it basically was i used this card deck and the cards that came out was um the uh devil energy which was like the go to jail card and um walking away there was also um what was the other card walking away um and waiting patiently or I think that's what it was that came out but just recalling and understanding the value your values uh come with yeah um the in darkest before the dawn because again you taking the leap um it's the full energy you know do not pass go do not collect your two hundred dollars is basically what I had said in the last read because the jail card was there and it's like you know how you pass uh in monopoly you pass uh it says um go to the jail thing don't go to jail pass it but don't collect your two hundred dollars this made you feel like a fool when it came to understanding uh what it was so again darkest before the dawn we have the ten of swords energy oh a card fell on the ground so i'm trying to get it the ten of swords energy comes with 
Ace of Wands, yeah, passion and desire. You have to be a fool, take a leap, and and uh, go after your desires, your passions. And um, when it comes to you being able to create and to make things happen, we have the wand energy here and the swords energy and the full energy. So, yeah, you have to be the one to make things what it is. You going after your passions and understanding what it is. Yeah, the hangman. And stop being in limbo for anyone that's going to make you feel like a fool. And so, therefore, what you had to do is realize what the cold energy is. It's, you know, again, it's always darkest before the dawn, before the universe sends you a message and tells you, you know what, hey, stop. This is a money grab. This is about somebody's finances. This has nothing to do with you. You're able to create, yeah, a two of pentacles energy. And now the universe is telling you to make a decision. Hold on tight. Pull your energy back. Bottom of the deck is yeah indecision way to a swords energy so again you have to make a decision decision comes out indecisive even though you're indecisive about whether you should reincarnate it shows here but reincarnation um to me is um re reconcile you know bring something back again recalling bring something back memories retention and return let something come back and return and that's the indecisive energy that you have felt because you know that this had to do with finances. You have to trust in your intuition and know that you're here to make the right decisions. Again, um, consequences of your actions has caused you to be in limbo mode, hangman energy. It's caused you to be in uh, limbo mode and also kind of see what it was in regards to being here with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, again, is painful endings or, you know, wounds, you know, betrayal. It's something that you had to go through. And in order for you to feel like um, certain situations, the Ten of Swords here and the backstabbing is basically the same energy, heartbreak, pain, separation, loss, deception, and lies, and shocking attacks. But this all had to do with finances, and this all had to do with what you could do for a person. That's how I kind of see that. And so assignments, procedures, and values, you know, this person only valued your coin or what you could do for them. They were very cold, and you're thinking about those things and understanding why it took you so long to really realize that this person kept you in limbo, and you weren't following your passions. You were helping them with theirs. And so, therefore, you had to pull your energy back for pinnacles for years. It took for you to get to this point, two of pinnacles making a decision six years. So last time it was seven years. This is at the sixth year of you really just realizing that it's time for you to pull back. You have to make a choice in regards to, yeah, time for reflection. Ace of Cups energy, holding back, representation, tune into your intuition. Again, intuition was at underneath the bottom of the deck. Um, uh, taking care of yourself and self-love. So you had to make a decision. Yeah, King of Cups, um, overly emotional, manipulative, Moody, this is the King of Cups in reverse, sorry. Moody, repressed, withdrawn, focused on inner feelings, emotionally unavailable. You had to pull your energy back, and that's normally what happens in the process is once you realize and you reflect on something, you pull your energy back and you become toxic to yourself, meaning that you stop doing things that you need to do. You stop hanging around. I'll turn this over. You stop hanging around. Yeah, you stop hanging around people. You stop making decisions because you're angry. Um, excessive control and divine masculine so yeah you start to be in limbo mode of not knowing what it is that you want and knowing that you have to make a decision because of the way somebody else makes you feel but it always comes out for you as a storybook ending ten of cups energy it says harmony bliss relationships emotional fulfilled stability and um, idyllic um, it says peace and divine and ten of coins. Yeah, love for money. I told you this person only cared about money when it came to what it was. So the decisions you have to make is this this your soulmate? Are they snake if snakeish? Um, is it not what it seems? Because it says old money, married for money, bankrupt contracts, inherit family feud, money concerns, financial gains or losses. And then it says under here, yeah, you have a lack of faith in the situation. And so underneath the bottom of the deck, we have the twin flames. We also have the soulmate. We have the flow. We have the justice energy upright, um, faith, justice and trust. We have intuition, high priestess energy. And we also have a lack of faith in the situation. So you're not trusting in your intuition or you were not trusting in your intuition. And until you woke up six years down the line and then um, realize that you have been in limbo and a fool for somebody who only cares about money, who only cares about money. So money is the root of all evil, and you have to be the one to make a decision. I'm going to pull from the Honest Truth Tarot deck. Um, 
to see what comes out because again you have to be the one to make that decision of what it is that you see fit for yourself and go from there yeah I need to heal myself in the reverse so this person isn't ready to heal and that's the reason why the narcissistic love bombing is still here uh, when it comes to finances yeah when it comes to finances yeah what do you want and you are my soulmate um yeah what do you want it's all about yeah if you give me what i want right you are my soulmate but the cold energy of this person also has you their cold self-expression drama play and creativity they have you questioning everything about you and your fifth house and the recalling and the just energy comes with the crown chakra sorry hit my thing spiritual connection higher source and higher self you have to recall and understand what it is and why this is causing your values and your uh the things that you normally do to be put to the test and so being a fool and being in hangman energy when it comes to this person oh look this card yeah you need to nourish yourself this was in my last read but it was stuck in here that's crazy yeah you have to nourish yourself and get out of the situation but i'm gonna pull a card from this actual deck that's crazy it says your mind body and soul are sacred feed yourself only that which nourishes you in the most healthy and po healthy way possible so also after that is staying being a fool and being in hangman energy you need to nourish yourself from this energy because and think before you act because uh let's make some fireworks they only want the limelight of the situation think before you act when it comes to this situation they are making head over heart decisions head over heart decisions not heart over head decisions all they want and care about and that was one thing that you were questioning in that last read was was this lust as well is this is this a is this a um actual some type of relationship when it's built on more than just uh sexual uh and that's what you were questioning with the unsure cards or um you also was you also were questioning um if this person is committal um, and they were non-committal, and so therefore, um, you have to be the one to understand that your storybook uh, will happen. But I'll, I'll pull that. I wish I made better choices. Yeah, once they understand where and why they left you in the situation they did, I had bad role models. They're gonna make that as an excuse, and uh, we should slow down. Yeah, it's always we should slow down when it starts to get um, the best of them, and so that's the reason why you're unsure of this because they'll pull you in and reel you back out basically once they get the things that they want whether it's lust money or um whatever the situation is the thing is is that they need to heal themselves that's the reason why i'm not clarifying that because we already know that they need to heal themselves i am going to pull from uh i'll pull from the breakup oracle deck to see what comes out of that yeah yeah you have to make a decision what was best for yourself because of the fact that you have to you know it's like they're they always make an excuse when it comes to why they can't give you a, a answer or yeah pretending exactly they're pretending and at the bottom of the deck true love you're asking yourself is this true love but again um they had bad role models and that's why you're questioning your decision should you let this ever come back into your life um, we have, I'm pretending to be happy and that all is fine, but I'm miserable. You know that you saw that and you forever changed them. It says you've changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. But that means that, uh, Justin, uh, Timberlake, oh, I've been traveling on this road too long. But again, they keep telling you to slow down every time it gets to a point to where they, their mask is starting to come off or they feel like it's too much pressure for them. So you have to be the one to make the decision. I'm going to pull from this deck of all the major arcanas to see what comes out and what you should be focusing on. Let me make sure. Yeah. Yeah, you should be focusing on yourself and understanding what it is that you need to do for yourself. I don't like them. I'm, I don't use these cards, but anyway this these cards are from the person who made the um monopoly deck and i can't think of her name right now um but yeah i'm gonna try to make these readings a little bit more um i'm gonna clarify a little bit more so what i'm gonna do um with these readings yeah yeah well no card wants to come out there you go 
I can tell you that the yellow card, think before you have full energy. Bottom of the deck is the hangman and the judgment energy. Yeah. Realization. Yeah. There's no justice in, reg in regards to what it is that you need to do. And there is a broom magician you have to create. You know how your parents always said, don't sweep up company. You know, they don't let kids use the broom. Yeah, star energy. So you have to get into a point to where you're not being a fool for someone. You're taking a leap and uh, know that you know nothing or you know better uh, for what it is that you need to do moving forward, if that makes sense. And so there you have it. Let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. And then we will pull from the four agreements. And if you want to know my perspective of the four agreements and also the crystal deck, I'll put the link up above here. So we have be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you say is how I feel. Realize the power of your word. And the amethyst coex night is your crown chakra, angelic communication, awareness, and intuition. Trust your intuition. I am fully healed, balanced, and energized. I am fully healed, balanced, and energized. And that's what the universe is causing you to do and to be. Um, to be able to manifest the things that you want, but understand the difference between sweeping up um, good and bad company. You know, like you could be sweeping up, again, the unwanted company or the type of company that is not for your best interest, but that's the realization that you have to have when it comes to who you should bring back in your life and who you should release from your life and what you should be doing when it comes to what it is that you want for your life. It says, your word is the power that you have to create. It is a gift that comes directly from God. And so when you're dealing with somebody who only cares about money, you don't love with money. You know, money comes to you, money flows. You know, you give out money, money comes back to you. But you don't love in regards to what somebody can do for you. You love based upon what you see, the potential you see in them. And now it's time for you to restructure that and to change your belief system and stop holding on to things that no longer serve you and stop um, making choices based upon potential or what you see. That person has to be able to see their potential, their true potential, and be able to value themselves and you in a relationship and so if they don't then that's when you have to understand that no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher and this person place thing or situation was here to teach you a lesson and they need to heal them own selves and there's nothing that you can do so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation so i'll name this thing before you act i love you guys